Welcome to the Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon Series. Today we're talking Harris Pontoon. We're going to review the full lineup of Harris, give you comparison to, to the competition, tell you what they do well, um, tell you all about the models, and um, give you all of the insights there. I am your host, Captain Matt, and as always, uh, you can pick up your Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon Toolkit at BoatBuyerSecretWeapon.com slash toolkit, our free gift to you uh, as you're shopping for your boat. It's going to help you in all aspects. Let's look at let's look at the different models of the Harris. So you start with the crown, which is their prestige level. Their crown is their fiberglass model, uh, their highest level of luxury, uh, a ton of standard features that are packed onto this. It's also their twin engine model that, um, that they put the twins on. And like any fiberglass pontoon is remember, there's a lot of extra weight with that fiberglass. So you're going to probably want to go up horsepower level because of that extra weight to get the performance that you want. So the 150 Tritune isn't going to perform the same as a 150 Tritune on an aluminum fencing model. The Grand Mariner is their luxury model. Super nice, well-appointed, uh, their next level of, of uh, helm. Uh, upholstery uh, and uh, and options. The stereo system's a little bit better. Everything's just a little bit more luxury there. The Solstice and the Sunliner. The Solstice they call their premium level. The Sunliner classic. Um, they're about the the same level of of options. Uh, the Sunliner gives you some different uh, layout options. And then the cruiser, which is their value model, which means that they are hitting a price point with that boat. So they are leaving some things out. They're downgrading some of the um, the material. Uh, they're downgrading the options that they're putting on. So a little bit uh, less fancy stereo, um, less fancy upholstery, not as much stitching. They even changed some of the construction uh, on uh, on the cruisers as well. So let's talk about the history. They started building boats in 1957. Uh, some places you'll see where they say they're the first pontoon manufacturer, uh, the first um, assembly line pontoon manufacturer, and they started under Harris K Yacht, Harris Float Boat, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is where they're still made today. But in 2005, um, they were acquired by the Brunswick Corporation, which is a publicly traded company. Um, they've got the Brunswick Gaming. They've got their technology group, uh, whatever they call that. And they've got the Brunswick Boat Group, which includes Mercury and Mercruiser, Sea Ray, Boston Whaler, Crestliner, Low Lund, Cypress K, uh, which is a pontoon line, Bayliner, Heyday. Uh, and they also recently acquired Freedom Boat Club. So, because of that, they are a big corporate company. Uh, they've got a lot of resources. They build a lot of boats. They they got um, the direct connection with the motors with Mercury and Mercruiser. You're only going to find Mercury and Mercruiser on a Harris uh, pontoon. Um, no other options, which is totally fine. Mercury and Mercruiser do a great job. They're a, a really reliable uh, power plant. And they've got the 10-year Bowdestern warranty and a limited lifetime warranty on the structure of the boat, which is basically from the decking down. So the, the plywood decking, um, the way they attach the decking to the cross members, their M bracket, their risers, um, their pontoons, that's all limited lifetime from manufacturer defect doesn't, doesn't cover running onto a rock or, or running it ashore. A uh, couple things to know about Brunswick. Brunswick has a, a premium value model. Um, so they've got Sea Ray and they've got Bayliner. Uh, in the pontoon world, Harris is their premium level. Cypress K is their value model. Um, but what's interesting is the Harris Cruiser is very comparable, in some cases identical, to the Cypress K line. Um, so if you've got both the dealers in your area and you're looking at that value cruiser, uh, which is a, a really nice pontoon to hit a, hit a, a good price point, uh, that Cypress K might be worth looking at as well. So <laughs> the Harris website, I was not very impressed. You can't, I happen to know a lot about Harris. I've been on hundreds of them. I've, I've run uh, probably close to a hundred different, um, different Harris's pontoons, tritunes, big horsepower, crowns, cruisers, and everything in between. Um, but they do have a great um, 
kind of key so you know what's what as they're as you're looking at the different models uh this is their code center walkthrough center walkthrough dual helm seat center walkthrough universal bar on port side um walks you through there but they also on their website which actually is from 2009 um on their website they've got not only that key um but they do have a showing of all of the layouts so it's a place you can go and you can look at the crown and see all of the layouts and then you see dl 250 which is a dual lounger uh in the rear um 25 feet uh dl eb 270 that's the dual loungers in the rear with the entertainment bar uh in midship and typically in the front you're going to have the um the couches up front on all of the models the grand mariner again couches up front on everything the dl dual lounges cwdh center walkthrough with uh dual helm seats or dual captain's chairs i really like that layout um for when when my wife and i are out the dual helm seats allow us to sit have a conversation if the kids are goofing around in the back or whatever uh, when you're cruising you can actually have a conversation with somebody uh, i really like that layout on the uh, pontoons they started doing that a couple years ago um, single lounge ec so the single lounge here the 230 and the 250 the ec is the entertainment console solstice you can see all the different layouts um, and then the Sunliner has even more layouts with the bar, uh, the single lounge, um, and then the cruiser, which is their value line. This is also where you'll find the fishing layout. So the cruiser FC 210, 230, and 250 have the uh, fishing in the back with the live well and tackle box. And then they have their cruiser LX, which is their smaller models, um, the CS 160, the 16, 18, 20 foot and the 16, 18, 20 foot in the fishing model, where you've got the fishing seats in the front uh, on the um, the LX version. So that's the models. I just thought that was a, a really good job of, of laying out exactly what you can get, similar to what you'll find in the brochure. The other thing I think is valuable to know is they have four different levels of tritunes. So if you say, oh, I'm looking at a Harris tritune, well, what what tritune package does it have on it the performance package level one is typically going to be found on the cruisers and that is uh what i call a sport tube which is about two-thirds the length of the boat then you have a separate motor pod attached um and the the fuel cell in the harris is in that motor pod i think it's a 28 gallon you've got the lifting strakes on the inside of the two outside pontoons and then the lifting strakes on both sides of that center um, two thirds tube that gets you more up on top of the water, almost up on plane, like you would on a fiberglass, um, hole. The performance package level two gives you a full length pontoon. Uh, and these are all 25 inches. They do have an option to go up to a 27 inch, uh, but we'll talk about that again, the lifting strakes on the two inside or the outside tunes and on the, uh, center tube. Um, this one, the, the, fuel cell upgrades again in size i think it's like 36 38 gallons and then the performance three the performance platform three and three and a half which gives you an even larger more heavy duty mortar pod which allows you to put more weight more horsepower on it you still have the lifting strakes two on the inside of the outside tubes two on the middle tube um, and then you can see that real huge heavy duty mortar pod, which gives you an even bigger fuel tank. It's in the 40 gallons, I believe. And then the twin engine platform, which is on the crown, uh, they've got the two lifting strakes on the outside or inside of the outside tubes. And then they've got this extra, um, way that they do the strakes on that center tune to get you even more lift. And then you've got the motor pods on the two outside tubes for the twin engine. And that's a huge fuel cell on that to feed those twin engines. So knowing what boats you're looking at and what third tune option, if you're looking at a third tube, if you are looking, not sure, do you want a tritune or a, pi, a pontoon? Uh, go check out the video, um, Tritunes and Pontoons. Um, you can see the up in the right corner, you can click on that and you can watch it there. So there's other things that I think Harris does really well. Uh, you can't really find it on the website, uh, but because I, I'm pretty familiar with Harris, um, I, I know that the way they build their boats from the decking down is as good, if not better than, than most on the market. 
the one that I would I would put above them is Barletta um, on just the solidness of their of their um, undercarriage. So the first thing, the top left picture, you'll see them kind of putting that pie piece shaping on the tubes. What they do is they crimp the edges of the pontoon and they put them in sections and then they baffle them so that there's if you get a hole in one of the tubes only that section fills up with water you can easily limp home um, but they also pie crimp them and they slide those two modules together so they have a nice tight fit um, where they fit together and then they weld them so you can see in the middle picture you can see that little ring is the baffle and then you see the weld and that weld is done right there on that pipe crimp piece um, and they do a great job of welding once they weld them then they dip them in the uh in the tank uh to protect them okay so that whole weld is protected as well and then they've got their m bracket uh which is a patented one of the many patents that harris has um, and that patent is the way they attach the pontoons to the cross members it's a nice big heavy piece of extruded aluminum and it goes the full length of the pontoon uh, which makes it more rigid more sturdy and the reason that's important on a pontoon is you want to limit the amount of flex on that deck because when you got flex on your decking it flexes and the furniture can come loose and over time that aluminum as it flexes gets weaker and weaker and it can cause a major problem so by putting that full length extruded aluminum piece and then welding that to the tune you've got a more stable base versus what some manufacturers do is they have a similar attachment um, but they'll cut it and it won't be a single piece or it won't be as heavy duty or it won't it's not that m bracket shape uh which is uh which is very sturdy next we've got the way they do their deck so they they use the seven layer marine grade plywood which virtually everybody uses now allows them to do a lifetime warranty on the on the flooring um uh, the structure of the flooring not the carpet um then they layer a, a layer of tape which gives it a kind of reduces the sound and the vibration uh, and they tongue and groove that plywood together instead of just butting it straight up together what can happen is water can get in there in between um, and shoot up through the carpeting and cause a problem it also just makes it a little sturdier a little firmer once they put the plywood together uh, then they use these nice big heavy duty tech screws which are basically self-tapping screws that goes through the plywood goes into the cross member which is a nice heavy duty piece of extruded aluminum and they use a super high speed uh, drill which is actually going to fuse it together it almost like it's welding it um, to that bracket um, the cross member and, and that's how they attach it Bennington, if you've watched that video, how the review of Bennington, they use a nut and nylon bolt system, uh, which is, is, again, allows them to do a lifetime warranty. But Harris uses nice heavy duty screws, and I think it's a, a great system. The exterior of the pontoon, once they build that, they've got a three inch piece of aluminum that goes around the whole exterior of the boat, just gives it more protection. If you run into a dock or you, you hit something a little bit harder than you want to, um, you're, you're not going to tear up the side of the boat uh, or the, the corners of the boat um, because you've got that nice uh, extruded aluminum finishing piece, which is actually uh, gives a little bit of structural support as well. Um, like I mentioned, the toolkit, you can grab your Boat Buyers Toolkit at BoatBuyersSecretWeapon.com slash toolkit. You can grab that for free and we'll email it to you. Um, but as I was talking about the models, um, you've got the High End Crown, the Grand Mariner, the Solstice, the Sunliner, and the Cruiser. And remember, in that value model, and as you go down, they're changing the helm and, and making it less fancy uh less add-ons uh as you get down to the fence rails their their fence rails are a little bit different down to the cruiser where the fence rails are even a little bit shorter uh giving it um you know less material equals less cost equals they can they can sell it to you cheaper so as you go down each level uh look for the differences um and, and the one thing from the cruiser to the sunliner is you can feel the difference in the the ride on those the the changes that they make to hit that price point on the cruiser uh you can really feel the difference between that and that step up to the sunliner 
Um, but I think Harris is, is one of the best riding, the most solid pontoons that you'll be on. Um, the only one I've ridden on that I would say is, is noticeably better, uh, is the Barletta. They, they use even heavier duty, um, uh, under underpinnings, um, on the construction, but the Harris does a great job and it's a great riding boat with nice, sharp, big, long nose cones that slice through the water, uh, and, and very precisely made. But I always talk about when you're shopping, the dealer is incredibly important. So what other, what other boat should you look at? If you like the Harris, um, it, it's a great boat. And if that's what you go with, you're going to, you're going to probably love it. Um, but if you don't like the dealer, you may want to look at the Bennington, uh, Godfrey, Manitou, Sylvan. Um, and, and these are the, the models that kind of match up the crown. I would go to the Q series in Bennington, the LX and Godfrey, the XTP in Manitou. The Explode is more of a, um, a twin engine boat, uh, but it's at that high level in the M series for Sylvan, which is again, the fiberglass, the Grand Mariner, um, the R series, Sandpan, Legacy and S series in Sylvan. The Solstice and Sunliner are very similar. Um, there's some layout differences with Harris, but the, the appointments are very similar. So for Bennington, it's the G series, Aqua Patio, uh, Manitou SES, the Encore and Oasis, and for Sylvan, the L series, and then that cruiser, the value model, the S and SX series for Bennington, the Sweetwater for Godfrey, the Aurora LE and the Mirage for Sylvan. Some other manufacturers that you may want to check out, Premier, Crest, uh, Berkshire, which is in South Bay. Uh, Barletta, I mentioned about them being on the on the high end, the Grand Mariner Crown. Uh, they also have come out with an economy and a, a mid-level. Uh, Sun Chaser, Veranda with their aluminum decking, uh, Avalon Tahoe, uh, and, and Sylvan, which you have listed. So thank you for watching. Uh, we would love for you to subscribe. Leave a comment. Let us know if you have one of these boats or if you have a Harris, what you think about it, what your experience has been. I always like to hear from people. YouTube has recommended some, um, uh, some other videos for you. You can grab that toolkit and you can also check out our magic money saving method at boatbuyersecretweapon.com slash save and watch the video there. Thanks for watching. We will catch you next time.